Hi, welcome to VR Attic Videos Quick Tips. In this little tip, we're going to show you how you can um, import 3D objects that you find on the internet in places like Sketchfab and other sites, or you could even create objects from um, Oculus Medium. But in this example, we're going to find something on the web for free. We're going to um, import it into a program that allows us to resize it. Uh, save it out and then import it into Oculus Home. Um, so let's go and get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is load uh, a web browser and I've already got one here. <laughs> and um, I'm going to use Sketchfab. Sketchfab is a great source of free um, 3D objects. Um, so that's at sketchfab.com. Um, I'll put the um, actual address in the link but it's not very hard to find um, and then the next thing is you want to do some searching um, I'm going to choose Alex this character here um, a Minecraft character later on I'm actually going to um, add my own what they call skin I've got a special one for VR for my VR addicts channel but um, we'll start with Alex so we'll place this one in so the first thing we need to do is click on download now when we choose download, there's various formats. We can pretty well choose any because of the program that we're going to be using next, but uh, I'll use the GLTF, this one down here. Hit download. Okay, that's now here. Let's go and uh, show the folder. Minecraft Alex, I'll grab that. Close that off. Now let me just um, extract all that. Yeah. Okay, so I've got the folder with it. The next step, let's close that off. We want to, we can minimize this. Um, let's go and launch 3D Builder. Now, 3D Builder is a free program from Microsoft. So I think that, can't, that you get if you've got Windows 10. I just went onto this little online free store and downloaded it. Um, so let's grab that. And we just want to open a scene. So you can see some examples I've done earlier. Um, but let's go to load object. And I'm going to go to the desktop and we want to choose minecraft alex so that's the one we want to use here it is scene they always tend to be called scene um gtl gltf and i'll choose open and there we go so i can rotate it around here i can look at it i can probably even do things and so on so we want to import that model yep done so now we've got it in here the next step is we want to go and select it so on the right hand side here, we've got select all, or you could press the control A key. Okay, and then the next step is we need to resize it. So here we go. So this one, they tend to be quite large. So this one's 463 centimeters. Um, I'm 167 centimeters, so that's the size I'm gonna make it. So 167, except, and if you do inch things, you can do your inch setups, whatever. Okay, so now we've done that. Um, I'll just go over here and choose deselect all. I'll go up to the file menu and choose save as. And that was it, as simple as that. So then the next step is I'm gonna go Alex um, underscore Minecraft. You could call it whatever you want. Oh, uh, there we go. And then the save as type, we want GLB. So what GLB does is it places all the textures and all the other data in one separate file. So We'll just choose save. And actually, I'm actually going to modify that. I'm actually going to go to documents. I'm going to go to Oculus Home into the import folder. So if we have a look at that, it's documents, Oculus Home import. If you don't have an underscore import folder, you can create one. And there we go. We'll just place it straight in here. Um, so blah, 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 information. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now we've done that. Let's go on to the next step. Okay, the next step now is we need to place that object that we just created and placed in the Oculus Home folder. Um, we need to place it in our home. So uh, the first thing we need to do is to come over here on our wrist and click on the little menu here. Um, this gives us the option. Now, one thing you want to do is go into preference and make sure that the home is unlocked. Um, otherwise, we won't be able to lock things. You can adjust some of these other elements, but that's it. The next step, we go to inventory, and then on inventory, we've got a, a choice here called My Imports. So we choose My Imports, and you can see some objects that I've done before, but here's our, our Alex. Um, now, 
I actually went in and resized this down to 80 centimeters. So I'm just going to reach in and grab that. And 80 centimeters is about my height according to um, the way the program imported it. So now I've got that, I can just place that character anywhere in the room. Place it over here, I think. There we go. Um, I want to get some Minecraft chests and place them around. We always need some good Minecraft chest storage. Let's go over here. I'll just move over there as well. And it still sort of snaps to walls. Let's place a few here. I'll have to create a storage system. Some redstone. <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? Okay, so now that's done. I just go into preferences via the little menu. Um, I make sure that it's locked. And we're done. And that's it. So as simple as that. So you can, um, what you need to do is when you look at it, you've actually got a, an overview and it'll tell you performance. So if that's red or orange or something, I'm guessing that's where it's a problem. I've, I've only got 184 out of 500 objects, so that's not too bad. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, so that's it. So we just click that off. Um, yeah, so have a ton of fun. I'm actually going to, uh, as I get more things, I'm going to strip out all these other items and I'm actually going to get some Minecraft blocks, hopefully. Dirt blocks and grass blocks and so on. And actually make this as a little mi Minecraft house. Um, just because I can. I'm a bit of a Minecraft nut. Um, if you like uh, Minecraft, um, I've got a VR channel called VR Addicts Videos on YouTube. Um, I've got lots of content of playing Minecraft in virtual reality. Um, using virtual reality, using the Vivecraft um, mod. Uh, that lets you do all sorts of exciting things. Much, much better in my opinion than the Oculus Home version of Minecraft. Uh, it's This one's a lot more fluid. Um, so check out that channel. And uh, anyway, hopefully you do. I'll see you later. Okay, bye-bye.